The Freedom for Journalists platform, GOP, announced in a press conference on Monday that they expect the government that will be formed according to the results of the June 7 election to promote freedom of the press. President of the Turkish Journalists Association, TGC, and GOP spokesperson Turgay Alkaito, the moderator of the press conference, stated that Semanyalo Group CEO Hidayat Karaka and journalist Mehmet Berensu are still in jail without indictments, adding, We have to stand behind each friend who carries the ID of a journalist, no matter whose side she or he is on. An indictment must be written immediately. We hope for the journalists to be released by the court pending trial. Al-Qaeda also said his group has been informed that Baron Su is being tormented in jail, and called for an end to this kind of suffering. Al-Qaeda also decried the denial of accreditation to journalists as dangerous and in violation of principles of equality, adding that this must be understood by all political parties. He addressed the government's latest practices, including the practice of extending invitations to government meetings only to the Anadolu News Agency, the state-run Turkish Radio and Television Corporation, TRT, and the Sabah Daily, all pro-government agencies. In addition, al Qaeda called for the formation of a journalists' union as a solution. Press Council President Narturan remarked that the council is closely watching developments in the cases of Karaka and Berensu because of their occupations as journalists. We do not accept the imprisonment of journalists pending trial and hope for Karaka and Berensu's release, Turan said. Kadri Gurzel, the chair of the International Press Institute, IPI, S. Turkish National Committee called for the government to stop tactically arresting journalists for doing their jobs and expressed his expectations from the new government, the government to be formed in Turkey must eliminate the pressure and threats to the media. Media bosses must be released from their positions as hostages. We also demand that the government stop using insult cases as a tool to restrict the freedom of press and the freedom of expression and release the journalists from jail. Turkish Journalists Union TGS, President Uruguk remarked that journalists have begun to spend most of their time in courthouses and called for the cases against them to be dropped. He added that some prosecutors consider every word to be an insult, and that they must rid themselves of the government's shadow. The Confederation of Revolutionary Workers Unions, DSK, President Farouk Aran said that no matter who comes to power, he expects them to stop interfering with the media. Aaron also referred to the government-sponsored security package as a blockage to freedom, and called for its immediate annulment. He stressed that the package might lead to violations of human rights. Contemporary Journalists Association, CGD, President Ahmed Abeke noted that President Recep Tayyip Erdogan holds the record for being the person who has sued the most journalists in the history of Turkish Republic, emphasizing that journalists face a government that hates the press. He expressed his desire for the new government to question the current government's moves to limit press freedom, and criticized those he referred to as the many journalists in Turkey who try to live under the protection of the government. Abeke said the number of detained journalists has reached 300, with 21 still in jail. He called the pressure on the media over the last 12 years a shame to his country that will be recorded by history.